So we're talking about, first of all, a lot of people are asking, what is this? Can you talk about um, what you actually think it is? Well, and, and there has been quite some confusion. Originally, my gut feeling told me that it was a natural occurrence, simply because the, the chance that it would be connected with two satellites that collided a couple of days ago on the other side of the Earth, and every, everything traveling at such incredible speeds, and then three days later it happens just to ray down over our heads here in Austin, and that was just too coincidental for me. Um, then there was a time when it looked like there was an official government report that actually mentioned that we needed to be on the lookout for falling debris. Uh, that turns out to be false, and actually now I've also seen some videos of the object, and I, I can quite f um, firmly state that it was a natural occurrence, a very bright meteorite, because again it was during the day, which is very extreme that you would be able to see it brightly during the day. Uh, but it, it quite likely, 99% sure, uh, was just a meteorite, yes. And, you know, we're seeing the, the video of falling, you know, like debris, people think it's, you know, falling and, and that kind of thing, and be, people think it's connected. Can you talk about that, the reasons why you don't think that? Well, the, the thing that happens is that it's very interesting to see how viral this has gone. I mean, everybody starts to write about it, and all of a sudden, this is, this is world news. Um, so directly people start to look around from, hey, I live in Central Texas, and there's something strange in my yard. Oh, that must be the same. And so the pictures that I saw was something of a pipe laying in a field. It doesn't look black. It doesn't look burnt. Um, I think it just happens to be a pipe in a field. I don't think it's connected at all to what, what we witnessed here in Central Texas. Um, let's talk about the video and how fast it is, what did this thing Yes, be why? That, that is indeed the giveaway, or at least the giveaway for me. Uh, as I said, the, 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 the chance that these things would be connected is very unlikely to me. A satellite moves at about 17,000 miles per hour. That's very, very fast for us being used to just normal vehicles that move maybe at 70 or 80 miles an hour. Um, but in space, that's actually very slow. And a meteorite easily travels at 100,000 miles an hour. There are some meteorites or meteor storms, I think it's the Leonids, uh, they travel at 160 miles an hour. That's something like 70 miles a second. So that's so much faster than a satellite. And the video that you see, uh, it shows that very rapid motion. And a good example, everybody still remembers those awful pictures of the Columbia burning up. That was a satellite. I mean, it's a space shuttle, but it moves like a satellite. It goes as fast as a satellite. And that went very slowly through the sky. And there, there's some videos even of that as well. And that would have been the speed that we would have expected if it was connected to the satellite collision. Um, taking the fact that it moves so much faster, also in a direction, it comes almost straight, or in, in a very uh, steep angle it comes down. Uh, and then again, you can say, yes, that, that looks like, it smells like a meteorite. A big one, a spectacular one, but still a natural occurrence. Yeah, can you talk about what you thought when you actually saw that video and describing it? How, how lucky they were to actually film that, uh, because they had just a, a steady camera and were just filming uh, the marathon. It was not at all uh, in the purpose of um, the, 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 to film this. Um, I, I was very pleased, very happy to have um, uh, footage of it, because it makes it so much easier to actually say from, ah, there we have it, now I recognize what it is. Uh, so again, I was very happy, and, and as far as I know, that's the only video that I've seen, or I know it's the only video I've seen, as far as I know, that's the only video that were, was made, but uh, maybe in a couple of days, someone does show another YouTube video uh, of someone that actually did catch it as well on camera, so we'll wait and see. Let's talk about uh, what you have behind, that, behind you. Yes. Can you talk about this? Well, I mean, a lot of people have been talking now, uh, of course, about satellites and satellites colliding. And uh, the first thing that I want to say is that this had never happened before. Uh, people have been worried about it for a long, long time, because as we have been launching satellites for the past 50 years, things get 
very, very crowded up there, and people don't realize how crowded. And the image that you see here is an image of the Earth. You see Africa on the left, uh, there's Saudi Arabia and India right here. And this is actually a generated image by the European Space Agency of all the satellites that are orbiting the Earth. And in this case, it's not only satellites, um, but it's also space debris. So if you would zoom in on the image, uh, you see pictures of satellites, but you see also uh, discarded rocket engines, um, defunct satellites, other pieces and bits that it's just floating around. It's flying around all at that speed, 70,000 miles an hour, uh, different orbits, different directions, up north, and it's, it's a very big mess. And as we launch more and more, that only gets more and more difficult to find an orbit that will not damage a satellite. Uh, and now then indeed we had two uh, satellites colliding, creating a very big debris field that's flying off uh, out and inwards and everywhere. And all of a sudden things have become incredibly more difficult and dangerous to be in space. And of course one of the worries is from a you know, satellite being colli or colliding into uh, a piece of space debris, that's one thing. But if it's the International Space Station or the Space Shuttle, uh, potentially that could be disastrous. Um, the likelihood is still small, but it, it, it definitely is an, uh, a big cause for concern. Why, um, why is it again that, you know, with the space shuttle or the such two shots colliding, why is it that um, it would be unlikely for us to see, you know, here in Texas again, like you were saying, um, for some of the other parts of the uh, Earth, and then also you were saying about how doesn't it take, it takes a long time to burn up or something like that? Well, in, in general, uh, that we say these things are in space. A satellite is in space. But actually, there is still atmosphere up there. So the International Space Station, for example, slowly slows down and actually comes slowly towards the Earth. And if we wouldn't do anything, eventually it'll just burn up and actually a couple of years, it's that fast. So every time when a space shuttle comes there, they prop the space shuttle back up. So all those satellites have very little, but still some resistance. So the debris field that has now been created eventually will come down and will eventually burn up in the atmosphere. Uh, but before the whole field is gone, that's something like 10,000 years. So that, that, that stuff that is up there is going to pose a, a problem for a long time. And the Earth is big, and a satellite is small. And what is the chance that it would happen right above your head? And that's just the, the, the unlikeliness uh, and why I originally said that I don't believe it is actually uh, connected. So the satellites that did collide, um, it would actually take years, if at all, to actually reach the ground. Um, well, and that's part of the problem. We don't know. We don't know exactly how the collision happened. Was it like this? Was it like that? Or something like that? The, 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 the Iridium satellite, so the American satellite involved, was a lot lighter than the Russian satellite. The Russian satellite was over a metric ton, so it's, it's like an SUV going down. Um, and then it really depends on how those two objects touch each other. Um, and, and I think we... Well, scientists are working on it right now to track all that, to figure all that out. Uh, but right now, the, the latest reports that I've found is uh, we actually don't exactly know yet. So, yes, some pieces will come down relatively quickly, um, and other pieces might have flown up and might indeed never come back. Um, so it, it's that's part of the problem, and that's why it, it, it's a scary situation, because all of a sudden things have become incredibly more complex.